Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go back to Kokusai Dori Norengai. This is a building complex full of restaurants. We already went to a couple of those places. Today we're gonna be checking out an izakaya as well as a bistro. We're gonna be eating lots of good food again. This place is located right on the strip, uh, Kokusai Dori. You can find all the shops, souvenir shops, restaurants, eateries, etc. all here. Today we have decided on two places, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So one is the bistro. Bistro. That's where we're going to be eating what? Okinawan steak. Okinawan steak, yes, yes, yes. And the izakaya. Yes. Yeah, because we want to have some Japanese food as well as some sake. So, you ready? Yeah. Let's all right. go. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're back here again, guys, at Kokusai Dori Norengai. Koza Yokocho, okay, which is on the second floor. So let's go up. Let's go. So Koza Yokocho, second floor. This we're is a Lucky Fortune, right? This steps a Lucky Fortune. Lucky Fortune escalator. Yes. Okay. You are stepping on nothing. I'm on the Kichi. Okay, I whatever. So here we are at Ocean Good Table. This is an Okinawan bistro located on the second floor of the Kokusai Dori Norengai building. This place, uh, the drink of choice would be wine. They have a big wine list, red, white. They also have champagne. And here they have uh, typical bistro foods like uh, steaks, you got carpaccio, you even have raw oysters. This is the island fish carpaccio. The staff explained to us that this yellow thing on the top is a lemon dashi foam and I believe that is a red cabbage and there are three types of fish in here there's tuna salmon and gurukun which is the local fish and you see some tobiko uh, fish eggs as well all right let's dig in it looks so colorful it looks like a rainbow of seafood I'm gonna go for the gurukun which is a local fish I usually have this fried I think it's the first time I'm having it raw I'm gonna have it with a little bit of that uh, foam right on top here. Itadakimasu. Mmm! That foam is surprisingly delicious. It's very refreshing, but also it has a lot of umami. Gurukun, as I remember, it's, it's, a, it's a little firmer than tuna, for example. It's a firm flesh fish. Yeah, and it's not fishy at all whatsoever, so it's really, really delicious. I gotta have it with some white wine. Cheers, everybody. Kampai. That's good. I also want to try the maguro, which is uh, tuna. I'm gonna try it with um, some other ingredients as well. So here, we have something here, this brown thing. I'm not sure what that is. I have a little bit of the, the maybe that's cabbage. A little bit of the tobiko as well. And then top it off with a little bit of the foam. Look at that, it's like a rainbow. Oh, it's so. Mmm. Mmm. This second mouthful of fish was better than the first one. You know why? Because I mixed a whole bunch of ingredients in here. The red cabbage is kind of sour, and that really adds to the flavor experience and the fish is so fresh mm, look at that that's a pretty big serving don't you think mm, oh yeah i think we can have at least like two glasses of wine with this one plate of uh, carpaccio salmon this foam this foam it's dashi flavor but same time, it's lemon. Go through to my whole mouth. Refreshing and umami. Oh, it's nice. I've never tried this flavor. According to the Shinichi's recommendation, this the pink cabbage is good. It's really good. With this gurukun, I yeah. roll this up. Mmm. Yeah. Another refreshness. I've never tried gurukum as raw as sashimi, only it as a fried stuff. This way is really tasty. The gurukum is a white fresh, white fresh fish, so it's a lean type, lean type fish, but it has lots of umami. Mmm. Mmm. 
I love this carpaccio because it's almost like a salad. It's like a seafood salad to me. You got a lot of vegetables in the bottom, like lettuce and mizuna, uh, onions as well. And then, you know, you have so much fish on the top. I'm, I'm gonna have um, salmon this time, right? And then I feel, I think, you know, this green thing is olive. I think it's olive paste. So for you foodies out there, I think you can already imagine the flavor bomb of this. Mmm. Mmm. Seafood paradise. Mmm. So good. I don't know what, I don't know what to say about this. There's so much flavor. Mmm. Delicious. So, here in Okinawa, the one of the speciality is steak. Beef steak. There are so many steak shops along this Kokusai Dori Street. Not only Kokusai Dori Street, there are so many, so many steak, steak shops in this island. This is Ishigaki beef garlic butter steak. And they are using very special Ishigaki beef. Then this is a certification. The five rank, the highest rank, the beef. This beef is from Ishigaki Island, the west end of Okinawa Islands. Here is a whole garlic. <laughs> I love garlic. But this is the beef steak, Ishigaki beef steak. So, cut. Mmm, it's very soft. I already know. It's very soft. Okay, so this is garlic butter. So, take some garlic butter and put on the steak. The show is starting. <laughs> it's very juicy, tender beef and lots of lots of beef flavor, umami and very soft and matches with this soy sauce based garlic butter sauce I think it's enhanced this beef flavor so nicely it's really good of course it's beef I have to drink red wine mmm mmm it's mariage <laughs> alright guys now my turn to take a bite of the beef from Ishigaki Island in Okinawa. I've never had Ishigaki beef before. Mm. Looks so juicy. I do have some of that, that yellow sauce on, but I, I want to eat it unadorned, so here we go. Mm. Oh my god. It's not only tender, but the flavor of the beef is really nice. It's a very beefy flavor, you know what I'm saying? And as I chew, I can actually taste the sweetness of the fat, the marble. I feel like we're having the best of both worlds, ocean and sea. Surf and turf right here, surf and turf. Best surf and turf in this building. I'm gonna try it with the, the garlic here. The whole garlic that they um, baked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that with the piece of meat along with this uh, yellow sauce. I'm not sure what this sauce is. They have two sauces on this steak, this yellow sauce as well as um, this um, darker sauce. I believe it's a soy sauce based sauce. Okay, that has everything on it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, that sauce is good. I gotta say, the steak is better without the garlic. The garlic should be eaten separately. Sorry, I wanna just try the garlic on its own. This comes right out of the socket. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's very subtle actually. The garlic doesn't, it's not a stinky, strong, aromatic garlic. It's actually mild, which is why I feel like it doesn't really add to the steak. The steak needs to be enjoyed by itself. Man, oh man, oh man. I'm gonna eat the, the edge part. I want to taste without the creamy sauce. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The beef flavor and sauce flavor combined so nicely. The one, one perfect flavor. Of course, the beef flavor as it is is really good, but combined with the sauce, become it elevated, elevated this beef flavor. Here is a nice restaurant. I'm so satisfied, guys. Ready to go to the izakaya? Let's do it. 
So let's go to Marujo see some the basement floor. Basement floor. This is Ryukyu Yokocho. Yeah, last time we were here, you know, because there are so many places to eat here, we thought it would be kind of fun to bar hop like we are doing today. Okay, so I believe it's here, Marujo Suisan. Here we are, Marujo Suisan. This is located in the basement floor of this building. All right, guys. So this is the izakaya. This place is called Marujo Suisan, and they're famous for their seafood that you grill on your table. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we also ordered some alcoholic drinks, of course. I believe we ordered some kind of Japanese drink for shime, which is the end of the meal. We're going to be eating a salmon donburi rice bowl. That's supposed to be pretty amazing. So according to the menu, they have a variety of fish and seafood. A grilled seafood, of course they have sashimi, and they have the deep fried one. And this one is Oden. The great thing about most of the restaurants in this building is that they use local ingredients or they at least try to. So that's really good. We really want you to try the local fish called Gurukun, which is served at many of the restaurants in this building. So, first one, of course, here is Izakaya. We need sake alcohol drink. This is our alcohol. <laughs> this one, sake, is in this kettle. It's one liter kettle. <laughs> I'm gonna drink all. This one is Sampincha. Sampin the Sampincha, the Sampin tea, is a very popular tea in, in Okinawa. And it's the, combined with shochu and share with your friends. Yes. Oh, check it out. I just love, I, I love the way they serve the alcohol in this yakka, <laughs> this Japanese old-fashioned kettle. That's that's I've never tried this style. It's very fun. <laughs> Kanpai! Mm. My, ah, yabai. <laughs> this, this tea is very tasty. I love Sampincha. Sampincha is a jasmine tea. It's very flavorful, aromatic, and this one is very easy to drink. I love Sampincha. Oh my god. Delicious. <laughs> You're right. We both love jasmine tea, which is Sampincha here in Okinawa. Gotta be careful. You do get drunk. Just a quick shout out to that nice couple we just met. Uh, they were looking for somewhere to eat in this building. But anyway, thank you for saying hello to us. Cheers. This is the omakase hamayaki. Check it out. This is for two people. You can order for one person, but you know, there's two of us. So the fresh seafood comes in a bucket like this, and you grill it by yourself. We have this grill right in front of us. Can I start grilling it? Yep. Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna start off with the scallop. Check it out. Wow. I'm gonna place everything on top. We got oysters. These are humongous oysters. And then we got clams here. Let's see, I don't know if my uh, the shrimp will fit. I'm running out of space here. For shrimp, top, it's not fitting. <laughs> I think that's about it. So we got all the seafood placed on the grill. And this did not fit. This is the only thing that didn't fit. This is uh, the, the tentacles of the squid. So we're gonna be cooking that later. Look at that, you see the scallops? The scallops are bubbling right now. Maybe I should check out the shrimp now. Oh, the shrimp is almost ready. I love cooking on the tabletop stove like this, like grilled uh, barbecue, grilled seafood. I love this interactiveness. Turn the shrimp over. Yeah, I think it's time to flip the scallops over. So let's do that and cook the other side in its own juices. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That looks so mouth-watering. I think the scallop is ready. Take it out and put it on the plate. Yeah, it's bubbling, bubbling. Sizzling, sizzling. 
Rishri Gukt. Yeah, I love this girl. Yadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Immediately, very beautiful scallop flavor came with the lightly uh, saltiness. It's because from the, the ocean, the sea water, I think. So nice, umami, so much umami. I love hot scallop. Cooking right in front of us is the best way to eat scallop. Alright, so my clam is ready, guys. It's a pretty big clam, I gotta say. It looks really hot. It's okay, they give us gloves like this. <laughs> okay, so here's my clam. Oh. Easy comes right out of the, the shell. Wow, that looks so fresh, so plump, and so hot. Thank you, No, basically. I ate it with no seasoning whatsoever. You really don't need it. There's a natural saltiness from the ocean. Really, really nice. The clam is tender and soft. A little chewy in some parts because I overcooked it a little bit. But it's good. Mm. Of course, you gotta have that drink. This with this jasmine tea pipe. Isn't this place fun? Isn't this whole place fun? Love, love it. Brown. I think it's ready. Yeah, it's definitely ready. Mm. It's a pretty big size. I love brown too. Not only scallop. So, how can I eat this? Just peel it. Just peel? Yeah. First, take the head part. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Peel. Very easy to peel. Yes. Yes, easy to peel, and it's on the stick. Oh, mmm, mmm, very nice, very nice brown flavor. You know the umami of the deliciousness of brown. This one is right here, and it's still so hot. Of course, it's grilled right in front of us. It's juicy. Um, so much umami. We have some space now, so I'm gonna start cooking the tentacles, if you don't mind. I'm gonna be cooking the squid tentacles. I love squid, by the way. We both love squid. Some of the squid tentacles are ready, it looks like. So I'm gonna take this piece, if you don't mind. There. Simple. One squid tentacle. Soft. Nut is so soft. Whole so tender. Mmm. I love that chargo flavor. It's chargo flavor with salt. That's all. Mmm. Mmm. I guess my favorite, along with the shrimp, the shrimp and the squid. Those are my two favorites. I think the oyster is ready. So take to my plate. It's really hot again. Please be careful. And open. Is it? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, looks nice. It's plumpy, plumpy. It looks very really plumpy. It's very steamy hot. Yes, you can see the steams from this oyster. Mm. Mm. I am. Please watch my happiness face. My face is saying everything. Inside it's juicy, it's like a milk. Smooth and lots of umami, oyster umami. So flavorful. Mm. And the, I like this, the salt flavor, sea salt flavor. Because it is natural. So lots of natural flavor, perfect. Mm. I love this Sampin Chahai. It's so good. I can drink forever. I heard they brew this jasmine tea in house. They never use the pet bottle one. So it's, it has lots of tea umami inside. I don't remember how many times I said umami, umami, umami. But it's too, 
lots of lots of umami not only the seafood this something to high has umami too はいはいじゃあどうぞ今から僕が太鼓鳴らしてはいよいしょって掛け声するんで、はい、それをまあご一緒に言っていただいて、はい、そのタイミングでいくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけていくらかけ That's an egg yolk, and they pour all this salmon roll over it at your table. They, they make like a whole ceremony of it. <laughs> First, I'm going to gingerly take one slice of salmon off, transfer it to my plate, and then I think I have to just go in with my、uh, spoon. Can I、uh, crack this egg? I'm gonna crack this egg. Oh, look at that! Look at that. And then we're gonna get a scoop of rice with the yukura as well.、Oh, that looks incredible. So, I think I've gotten everything in here. I got the salmon, I got salmon roll, I got some of the egg and the rice. All in one bite. Mmm, it's so creamy, so creamy and soft. The egg makes everything mild. The ikura, the salmon roll, is on the salty side, but by adding the egg, it makes it less salty. The salmon is super fresh, no fishiness whatsoever. My advice though, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of soy sauce to the salmon. Let me get another piece of salmon here. Just a little bit of soy sauce to the salmon, and then take a bite. I think that'll take it to the next level. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That's it. Adding the soy sauce makes it way better. Mmm. First of all, huge fan of salmon, huge fan of ikura. Really, really, really good. And I don't know why, but the raw egg mellows everything out. I feel like the raw egg also brings everything together. Yeah, just eat it on the bowl. Oh, so、like、really? Yeah, yeah, just to see. Yeah, just about the bowl. Okay. <laughs> mm. 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 So creamy.、Mm. Lots of salmon flavor. Ikura and ikura, salmon roll, and this salmon fresh, salmon sashimi combines really nicely. And it's It's because of the egg yolk. It combines all the flavor into one. It's so good. It's so good. This shop, food is really delicious. And atmosphere and shop stuff, very fun. Yes, this place, very worth to come. Oh my god, I am satisfied and I am stuffed. I'm so me sleepy. Too, me、right、too.、Now. Me too. I enjoyed so much. Food, on, of course, food. but Not only food, it's fun! Entertainment! Entertainment! Yes,、yeah, food entertainment at its best. The seafood couldn't get any fresher than this, and everything we had today was just delicious. One of my, my favorite, what, what I'm still thinking about, is that steak, Ishigaki beef. Wow, I've never tried that before. I think it's just as good as Kobe beef. Yes! And it's、yes. cheaper!、Mm. <laughs> Oh, if you guys are looking for like good wagyu, like good quality wagyu, check this place out. Really good. I recommend it. This Kokusai Dori no Renga is worth to come. Yeah, we've been to four different places right now.、Mm -hmm. But like we said, there are a lot more places to choose from. Maybe on our next trip, we can visit a couple more. Who knows? But I really want to go back to the Korean place today. It was、mm -hmm. so good. The Korean fried rice. I keep talking about that. I know, I know. Anyway, we really hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you've missed any of our Okinawa videos, we have a playlist in the description below this video. Check those videos out. Thank you for watching. See you on next fun, delicious video. Bye, bye guys. Bye.